Salesforce has recently changed the certification maintenance schedule from three maintenance exams to just one per year. So I'll provide the link in the description of this video to this page, but here is the latest and greatest from Salesforce for their certification maintenance schedule. Scrolling down that you'll see for these various release cycles and dates available for the different maintenance modules. Now many of my students are administrators as far as certified administrators so that maintenance module became available on Trailhead on April 15th of 2020, has a due date of April of 2021, so we have a full year to complete that. There's also maintenance modules for these other certifications as well. Now, many of you may also be a platform app builder. That will be available December 9th of 2020 with a due date of December of 2021. So there's a lot of questions around what is due when for your certification maintenance once you pass an exam. So I would refer you to this as far as the latest schedule for the maintenance exams. And then as well, there's a link here for maintaining your Salesforce certification trail, which brings up this page. I'll link to this as well. These are the various trails and modules for maintenance that are available. This first one here is for the certified administrators that are out there for the spring 20 release. And as I mentioned previously in the table, that is not due until April of 2021. So you have a year to complete this particular module inside of Trailhead. Now, for those of you that have these other certifications, then in order to maintain your credentials, you just need to complete the corresponding module for each. So for example, if you have the CPQ specialist certification, then this would be the module you would complete. So you may have several here, depending on which certifications you hold. The main takeaway, though, is you do not have to do these modules three times a year any longer. They're just once a year. They're all available on Trailhead, and they are free as well. So another thing you can do going back to this article is you can check your certification status, and that takes you to how to verify your certification status. I will link to this as well. You can follow the directions here to see if you are current or not. And the primary two ways of doing that is viewing your own trailblazer.me profile or going on the Salesforce credentials verification page. You can see what's publicly available about your certifications here, or if you're a certification holder, you can check your status by entering in the email address that you have for your web assessor account and clicking request, and then you'll receive an email from Salesforce giving you more details on your current situation as far as the maintenance exams and if you're behind on anything or what is due next.